<laughs> uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, got to move around today in practice and um, making great strides. So uh, I'm going to take it day by day, but I feel I'm confident for Sunday. It's not a really good sign. Stops and starts, sudden movements. Uh, I feel like that's a great a great sign. Like you said, that's, that's the little intricacies to the game. Um, that really get hit a lot that uh, people may not see and may look like they're just going one speed, but it's a lot of stop and start, a lot of cutting, putting their foot in the ground. So. What is the biggest hurdle for you to really feel like you can go on? <laughs> uh, I would say just being able to get, I will, I mean, you're never really able to get to top speed after, but uh, just being able to run comfortably, picking my knees up. You've had MCL sprains before. This one looked super painful. You feared the worst at first. Is this uh, a worse MCL sprain than the other ones you went for? Uh, it's, I, I wouldn't necessarily say different. It has sidelined me longer, um, but it's different from the other ones that I've had. The other ones that I've had have came from the femur. Uh, this one's coming from the tibia, so which is whole different muscle group or joint. Uh, so. It, the recovery phase is a little different, feels a little different, but uh, I am familiar with the MCL a little bit. And it's not the same knee, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes and no. I mean, I've heard both MCLs so throughout college and now. I've heard both of them. So. Here you watch this team kind of climb out of a little scuffle layer to figure out how to win some games. Um, what are you seeing them? that they will be able to figure out how to win playoff education games? Uh, you know, just continue to be us. Uh, take it one play at a time, one day at a time, be about our process and not about the result. Uh, we're, we're, if we're driven on our details here throughout the week, it'll roll over into the game. For, for those of us that took anatomy 15 years ago, what is the difference between it coming from the femur versus the tibia? Like, what, why does it make it more difficult to support something? Uh, just like your, when it's off your tip from your tibia, like when whenever your legs off the ground, it just feels like it's just like hanging there. Um, when it's off the femur, you 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 may feel that like your knee open a little bit, but it's a little more secure. You can you're able to lift your leg up off the ground. Um, you're able to do a little bit more. Have you gone into any games thinking like on Saturday or Friday thinking you were going to play like the Giants game? Did you think you were able to go or is that still just up in the air? Uh, it was still up in the air. Just get out there, move around a little bit on Friday and uh, let them make the make the call, make the judgment. But uh, so, yeah, it wasn't, oh, he's going to play or he's not going to play. It's just going to, let's see where he's at. So it was nothing like before the Raiders game when you got that setback on Friday? Oh, uh, no, like sir. No setback or anything. How much of it is your decision versus what they're trying to do? Do you have any input in that at all? Uh, definitely. Uh, you know, we always have uh, input on what's going on with our bodies. Uh, you know, I've, I always want to be out there, but they're they're gonna, always going to look out for the best of us. So they're going to protect us from ourselves when we, even when we don't want to be protected. So, uh, you know, I, I respect them for that. And uh, that, I, I think that's knowing your personnel because you have guys who are opposite and then you have guys who you literally got to pull off the field. Does it feel like this team's almost snaked there a little bit when it comes to injuries this season? Uh, you know, definitely. Uh, we've had injuries across the board, but I think guys have done a great job of the next man up mentality, the, the mentality we always have around here. Uh, you know, we bring guys in for a reason. Uh, at some point, their, their name or their number is going to be called, and we're going to need them. And uh, everybody does a great job of stepping up. But yeah, if we could just if we could stay healthy, I know it's, it's hard to do. It's football. Uh, you never know what's going to happen, but. Uh, if we could get on the other side of that, I think it would be great. What is what is this Buccaneers defense? Like you, you've seen them in the past. What do they do so well? Uh, they, they present you with different looks, uh, pressures, like I said, a variety of looks. So you never know who's coming. Everybody's eligible across the board. Um, they may show it one way, then drop guys out and bring it the other way. So just uh, yeah, they, they try to get they try to confuse you. Their blitz, I know you didn't play last week, but obviously you're part of the game. Is their blitz similar to what the Giants do? Uh, yes and no. Um, they do have some some similar patterns, but then uh, they run a different scheme, so they have their own blitz packages and patterns where it's switched up completely different from what you're normally used to seeing.